Okay, on to the next skip the line reaction, man. And this one is also, once again, for Ghazaghej. I appreciate it. I'm very excited because the last reaction we did to Havasi blew me away, right? So this one is called uh, Daisy's Secret, Silence, the concert movie. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I should be putting the copyright, the copyright watermark on it. Maybe, nah, leave it, let's leave it, let's take a chance. Whatever, it's going to land up on the sphere as well. So if it gets blocked on YouTube, you guys can watch it on the sphere. Um, that, so Raza, your message over here, music for Sasa. Oh, how, how do you know Sasa? How do you know my wife's nickname, Sasa? I also have uh, noise intolerance, which yes, Sasa, my wife does have noise intolerance. <laughs> Um, hectically so actually um, right Havasi Daisy Secret Khazakhej thank you so much I'm super excited man the last time we reacted to to them it was amazing let's see what we got let's go a beautiful 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 piece of, of music and there's just something about a baby grand piano that is so elegant and so beautiful it's something about it that when you're actually watching it live in these kind of intimate settings right and you, you've got a pianist that's playing just a solo piece on the piano there's something about that baby grand piano the the the, the presence of it right that just it adds something to the atmosphere. I mean, it's like this is a beautiful piece of instrument that was created by hand. You know what I mean? It's... Look, the baby grand... As much as I love guitars, man, a baby grand piano and someone who knows how to play it is special. This is something I have to show my wife because she'll absolutely love this. And piano is her favorite instrument. So she'll go mad for this. about this piece that is like suspenseful there's something about this piece that sort of keeps you in suspense purely because of 
you know, with the way it actually built up and in the addition of the violins and the addition of that vocal um, element. But it makes it makes things sound a bit eerie. Like it makes it like you feel a little bit a little bit sort of like uncomfortable to a certain degree. Not in a bad way, but it makes it sound like eerie. It makes it sound, like if you had to listen to this play in like a an empty house. It's, it's kind of like if you have to think about a movie, right? Where like a war torn area and you walk into a house that's been sort of damaged and as you walk through it um you would hear a piece like this and literally as you walk into every room it kind of like flashbacks a story of the life that once existed there and the people that once existed there so it's almost sad but it's it, it, it's 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 it gives you the sense of sadness and the sense of storytelling and the sense of journey in the sense of like as but in an airy way if i'm if i'm not I'm, i struggle sometimes to explain my thought process but it sounds like it it's a piece that would be echoing in the distance while you're witnessing something something huge something monumental that happened once before happened um, to that particular area and you can almost feel the life that was once there you can does that make sense to you is am i am i articulating this well enough i'm trying to paint a picture but i think i'm doing a really bad job of it but uh, yeah let's carry on this <laughs> that speaks of tragedy right not tragedy that exists right now tragedy that once was that's what it sounds like because it, it it's beautiful yet there are this there's, there's, there's sadness in this for me the vocals speak of tragedy the piano speaks of storytelling speaks of journey 
and the violin speaks of um, sadness. Right? Actually, the piano speaks of journey, but it also speaks of curiosity because of like, it's not that sad, but almost in the way it's being played, it's almost like telling a story, but a story of curiosity, like you want to know what happened here. And the violins are what give you that what happened here was tragic, right? What happened here was, I wouldn't say tragic, because I think the vocals do more of that. But the violins say, like, what happened here was sad, right? And I think the, the vocals, the vocals speak to to the magnitude, to the magnitude of the story. And it speaks to the suspense as well. These kind of pieces are incredible, man. They really are. Will absolutely love this. Amazing. I like how you left it open ended over there. So it's almost like you, you'd expect that to end it off, but it's like it's an ongoing story. So he lifts his hand off the key off the, the, the keys and it's like to be continued essentially. What so okay, so let me summarize. The piano speaks to the suspensefulness the curi and the curiosity of um, the track and the journey. So suspensefulness, curiosity, and the journey of the story. The violins speak to the magnitude of the story. This wasn't something small. This was something big. This is something huge. This is something earth-shaking. This was something of great significance. And the vocal speaks to the sadness, to the sadness of um, the entire, uh, um, 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 journey and magnitude of everything. So the, the vocals speak to the sadness. I think that's, that's the way I was thinking about it. And I wasn't quite articula articulating it well enough. Um, when we paused the last time, man, this is spectacular, man. This was absolute beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of music, man. It took you, it took you on a journey, man. It really did. And you could you could literally take this and apply this to anything. You can apply this to any different story, right? And that's why I say it. This kind of thing is a language. Instrumentation and, and uh, 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 compositions like this is a language in itself. It's not digital music. It's none of this sort of like throwaway mainstream crap, right? This will forever, ever live as the greatest uh, um, um, pieces of music because it, 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 it's something that has existed for centuries now, right? The playing of instruments and the, the, um, um, the mastering of instrumentation being played together, that'll never die, ever. No computer is ever going to match that. And it's never going to stand... Um, uh, um, the test of time, right? This will live forever because of what it is, because it's composition of music and emotions and and uh, and instrumentation that were man-made, right? That were played by professionals, not by amateurs with a Fruit Loops program. Love this, man. This was spectacular. Love, 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 love. You guys let me know what you think down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.